This is a brief demonstration of the OBS NTR plugin for OBS Studio, which allows you to embed a video stream from the NTR debugger service running on your Nintendo 3DS in your OBS Studio scene as a video source. Now this does absolutely require that you have the NTR debugger running on your 3DS already. How to get that installed is beyond the scope of this video. Uh, most of, of the time, you will be launching it through something like this. This is the Boot NTR Selector Launcher. Make sure that is started up on your 3DS. Now, normally the way you would need to go about doing this in OBS Studio, you'd have your NTR applications from the NTR distribution on your computer somewhere. You'd need to run some a program like NitroStream or something to uh, connect to your 3DS and start up NTR's streaming. And once that connects, you'll end up with the NTR viewer window that eventually starts up and it looks like that, and then you'd have to bring in your OBS Studio instance and, I don't know, add a window capture or something on that window. And you could do some cropping or something to move them around and split them up if you needed to, I guess. But I don't know. I think we can do better than that. So I'm going to close all that up, start over. Now the first thing you will need to do, if you're going to use the OBS NTR plugin, of course, is download it. Uh, as normal, you would download that from the obsproject.com website. Uh, go to the, not there, the forum area, go to resources, find OBS NTR under OBS Studio plugins. Should be pretty close to the top. It was as of this recording at least. Uh, follow that through into uh, GitHub, find the release. There's the package. And it has the same structure you'd expect from any OBS plugin. It has localization data, it has DLLs for both 32-bit and 64-bit. It does depend on the TurboJPEG.dll being in the plugins folder as well. Uh, just drop that into your OBS Studio folder. It should mirror the structure of the OBS Studio folder itself. Assume you know how to do that by now, if you're using OBS Studio at this level. So, once you've got that going on, again, you will need to come over to your 3DS, get NTR started through whatever means, probably boot NTR selector. You can verify that NTR is running because there's a hotkey to bring up a debugger menu. By default, that's pressing X and Y simultaneously, and you'll see that menu. Make sure Enable Debugger there is selected. It normally is automatically, but that's all you need to do directly on the 3DS there. Now, in OBS Studio, you should have an entry for 3DS Capture NTR in your source menu here. Go ahead and add one of those. Uh, you can choose each of these sources to be either the top or the bottom screen. Uh, that allows you to separate the two. However, it does share a single connection to NTR, so one or the other has to claim responsibility for the connection. That's what this button is for. That actually unlocks a lot of the configuration options here. Uh, getting the IP of your 3DS, unfortunately, is not the easiest thing, and again, is a bit beyond the scope of this tutorial. Uh, usually just check it on your router or something. Uh, the other stuff in here mirrors other tools you might use, like NitroStream. It's just settings for the quality of the JPEG stream that NTR sends to you. Uh, the defaults usually work pretty well. I don't mess with them too much. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is you will have to send this remote view startup message. That tells NTR to actually start sending video frames to you. 
Uh, when you hit that, you should see the screen of your 3DS blink briefly. That shows you that NTR is actually starting up its video streaming. Uh, once that's done, you just need to hit connect to NTR on your master connection and it will start showing you that screen. And you can place it, transform it, filter it as you would any OBS source. Uh, to add the bottom screen, just add another source of the same type, change the screen to bottom. It can't claim responsibility for the connection because the other source already has it, so don't worry about that. If you're concerned about the performance of your stream, which is certainly not perfect because NTR is not the most amazing service for doing this, it's just a workaround for people who don't have a physical capture output on their 3DS. Uh, you can track your connection steps by checking the box there. That will render them in a not very readable format on top of your display. Probably the 3DS home menu is not the best place to see that. But I believe that's being computed in the same way as the stats that are output by NTR Viewer if you need to compare your performance for some reason. And it'll tell you if you are connected or not. You can disconnect, reconnect as you need to without having to restart NTR. The only way to actually turn off NTR and restart it with different settings, by the way, is by turning your 3DS off and on again. So just so you're aware. I think that's really about all there is to show about this. So, I hope that's helpful. Uh, thank you for watching.